Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So in the last two episodes we've done some automation and I think the automation is actually really a nice way of doing it. I also built a few little bits and pieces in between episodes like the network tool from um, this one <coughs> from Applied Energistics. The recipe for this is actually fairly simple so just look for the recipe for that. Basically it's a wrench, quartz wrench, an illuminated panel and a calculator processor and a chest this one's actually fairly straightforward too it's just three pieces of glass two pieces of redstone one piece of sorry two pieces of glass and one piece of redstone one piece of iron and the quartz glasses we've done this all before anyway and the reasons i wanted to the network tool is if i right click it i think i can right click it you can see what the items we've got in here so i've actually created an inverter card capacity cards and acceleration cards now today what I'd like to do is to actually start with some of those quests. We've got some quests doing. So let's start with that one. And the quest I'm actually looking for is the, I think we've got everything ready we need now. I'll take this out of my hand, of course. I don't want it in my hand. To do the advanced circuits, we've got 32 advanced circuits and the 32 blocks of dash. So if we put that into here like that, we should be able to get the assembly machine. And this is, I don't know how much power it requires, 60 million is it? No, 600 million, so it's going to take a few seconds to do that. So while that's cooking, so to speak, let's go and have a look downstairs. So the quest for that one, by the way, is Ikea in a box. Now, as far as I can see, we've got a problem here. And this is actually one of the problems I was expecting to get. We've just got oxygen and there's silicon in there, so we need to resolve that. So I reckon the way I'm going to resolve that is by coming along here and putting a, removing this, if I can get to it, which I can't, this export bus, because I'm exporting oxygen and silicon. And instead we're going to do that and we're going to import that into a, um, I think a chest or something like that. And then from the chest we can actually then put a rationing pipe to come down here. So let's start doing that first of all. Remove that. I actually need to remove this as well, don't I? Because I need to basically be able to put a rationing pipe on this chest. And I think I've actually moved everything upstairs again. Cleaned. I cleaned up in here a lot during the between the episodes, as you can see. And I'm not sure which chest I've got it in. Let's just make sure I've got something in here. See, so yeah, I've created a new Certus Quartz wrench as well, just to be sure. And so what I'm looking for is the rationing pipe stuff, isn't it? Maybe that's in here. So we want one rationing pipe, some transfer pipes, a couple of transfer nodes, I think, some filters. What else do we need? A chest. And I think that'll probably do. I think we've got everything else we need. Let's get the chest out of here. I think a single chest will be fine. Any sort of storage. In fact, no, don't like that. Let's put that back. I would actually like to do a buffer. We haven't made a buffer yet. So let's make one of those together. So the type of buffer I'd like is the one from Ender I.O. And I think it's this one here, an item buffer. So this consists of iron ingots and electrical steel. Now electrical steel is very easy to make these days. I shall show you how to do electrical steel. So let's take, um, what do I want? I think actually I've got a bucket of steel over there and I want some silicon. And we want to make four. So let's just take four out of these. But I think actually I've only got enough steel in here for four. That's about four. Yeah, four. Actually, that's probably more. I think it's 144, isn't it? So that's plenty of steel in there. And we want a bucket. And I've moved the stuff around in here as well. So I want a steel, molten steel bucket. So what I can do now is I can put onto this table here. Let's move everything out of the way. I can put on a piece of sil uh, silicon like that, and I, in here I can put the molten steel. 
and then that'll come out and it'll make a an ingot so we can remove the ingot you'll, and you'll notice that it doesn't go in anything go in here until I actually put the silicon on there so it's actually safe so I could quite happily do it like this and unfortunately I don't know if we can automate it but we don't need much molten steel anyway so we can remove that from there now and take the last of these out so we've got four electric steel and you can do the same thing for conductive iron so if we look for the uses of silicon here take one of these out of here and look for the uses of this one if we come along to I th I'm not sure which, which one it will be actually casting table here we go so if we put destabilized redstone we get redstone alloy and this was the steel one and the third recipe is again is destabilized liquid steel to produce electric steel so that was uh, that put that back here we don't need that so now we can make I want to make two buffers so I should be able to do that where's it gone to in the book here this one now the reason I'm going to use a buffer is because they only hold nine stacks let's put this in there like that and one two whereas the chest holds what 30 stacks and I want to make sure it gets both types in there and we're using a process I do make sure I've got export buses and things on me yes I've got another spare one good so now <coughs> excuse me let's get up here so we're going to jump around a bit so let's stand on this Emmy 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 interface so what we need to put onto this now of course is the rationing pipe like that and then I'm going to put another cable on top of that because I think we need a cable and then on because we need to put a transfer node so on the cable here we shall put one of the two buffers and the other one we'll put the other one beside it like this I don't know whether you can actually do anything smarter with this configuration yes you know I me mean? so we have the two buffers like that so then we need to bring this cable up here and put two export buses in here like this so let's bring this up. I shall remove this one, I think. I'll just put it up here like that. Then see if we can connect across. I'll just probably press shift like that. And that connects up nicely. So we just need to remove that one. And then we just need the two exports. So I don't like this jumping around. There's not much I can do about it from here, I don't think. Two export buffs, buffers. One, oops. <laughs> That was a shift right click let's just oh i need to use this one there we go so where's that one gone to let's go back in my inventory let's put it back here so now we could take a stack of oxygen out of here and oh i really want silicon don't i let's go and get some silicon out of the system i think it'll be in the back here actually silicon yes we've got plenty of silicon in here stored that's tin, full. Take a stack of that. So, right, now what we want in here is I need to remove this. I was thinking of doing this in two phases, but here we can put the silicon in because we use less silicon than we do oxygen. So then that should start to fill up with silicon, great. And then we can do the same thing on the other one. This time we shall put oxygen in it, if I can reach it, there is. <laughs> difficult there so now I can do oxygen so this one's now getting oxygen into this let's have a look at it now we're getting oxygen and silicon great so now I remove this pipe because that was just temporary in order to allow us to put the um, uh, where have they gone to the transfer nodes in place like this so I put the transfer node in place here and here uh-huh and that's actually going to go straight down and maybe that's exactly what I want it's exactly what I want now the problem is I probably need to put cash uh, stack upgrades and the like on that so let's go and do that next I didn't take any with me I don't need the filters because I'm filtering it from the back side so we just need some stack upgrades and speed upgrades I think we'll make sure we keep that in 
up to date. See, we need two of these. But we don't need 34 of those. In fact, I can put the cache with this cache or with this buffer. I can put these, if I'm quick enough, that is, it is oxygen and silicon into these. So let's do that as well. Good. So in here we can put a stack upgrade. Uh, a couple of speed upgrades, I think will do. It doesn't have very far to search, so it shouldn't be too bad. And they do the same on this one. Let's have a look now. In here we should start to be using up oxygen and hydrogen. Uh, sorry, oxygen and silicon. And it looks like that's working a treat. Because we're using up all the excess oxygen that we had. And if I ever get any more, I can put it straight in here. So that's then taking out of here the uh, cobblestone. So that cobblestone should... Oh, it's already full. I wonder where the cobblestone's going to. If I've filled this one up already. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to have to upgrade this cobblestone anyway. So let's do that first. And oh, this basically here was a trick. What I was doing here is I was removing from the system what we've got in here which is uh, Mars subsurface rock because we and there was getting too much of that and I've basically got an export bus pulling the stuff out of here very as fast as possible to pull it out of the system and put it into this cache so now we need to do the same thing again and this time we need to do it for cobblestone but first we need to upgrade this um, this cache so let's just do that let's look at the uses of this one and then we can so if right click we get a hardened cache and then we can do the same again and we can do a shift right click to get a reinforced cache now this then holds 160,000 so that's 16 times more I think so if my division's any good these days which sometimes I doubt so what I basically do is that put it like that and you see now it's going up but there'll be a load of this stuff stored in the system so we'd simply put this on here take out one piece of cobblestone put the cobblestone into here so we make sure it's exported put the cobblestone back again and then take the, the cable to run it up like this and then that's we'll now start to also import all the rest of the stuff and we can speed it up by simply putting some speed upgrades in there in fact i've got another four here and another capacity card from when i, I removed the previous one I love these actually they're great these network tools so now it should be going up very fast as you can see so it's pulling out of the system all of the cobblestone that it had so we leave that to do that now let's go and have a look at what the next thing to do is let's have a look how this is doing oh it's already finished great so now we have our assembly machine let's have a look clear that off and here we've got one assembly machine and it's got a buffer and it's using using EU because it's from Tech Reborn. So now let's go and put this down somewhere. Do you know what I think? I've got I've got some caches, I've got some stuff here. Let's put it down here. Because to be honest with you, I don't really know what else to do with this at the moment. So let's remove that one. Yes, I need to put down one cable there. We need a cable. So what we're gonna do is to put in a it's an ordinary aluminium wire, I think, like that. <laughs> that doesn't want to connect to this. Really? Why not? Does this need a different type of cable? Let's see if we can put copper cable on this one, or insulated copper cable. Gee, that surprised me a bit, to be honest with you. I wonder if it's a face it has to be connected to. No, nope, that doesn't seem to be working at all. Okay. That's going to be a challenge. I don't know how we connect this up. Let's try the heavy duty aluminium cable, see if it connects to a different face. And also get out of here my uh, wrench. I've got a, a wrench from Industrial Craft because basically Tech Reborn, I think, is a version of or an extension of Industrial Craft. So let's just see whether or not we can connect up uh, this at all. Maybe it connects to the back or something. 
well hard to see if I can actually working isn't it that's to remove there we go to remove the machine which is one of my hates but there we are uh -huh. let's put the machine down here maybe it needs a second tier of machine as well so let's just try that because I don't know whether this has worked can I reach that cable oh no not so easy I'll have to make a hole here Let's put this try. Let's put this down here. See if it connects this time. We should be able to see it connecting. Nope, not connecting. So there's an interesting problem. It doesn't want to connect, but it actually says RF here. Hmm. And it does have an interface. Let's see if it actually helps. We can connect this conduit. Huh? In that case, if it's conduit, I can do it that way. But I think I would prefer to use ordinary conduit. Have we got some conduit in here? Yes, we have got enough. Take three of those out of that. Oh, that's connecting this time. Great. So now it's connecting, so it should have power. So what are we can do with this? We can make, yeah, okay, fusion coils. Basic circuit boards from Tetra Vaughan. The one we want to make is a drum. So we need eight lead and 32 blocks of iron. So let's see if we can do that. What have we got for here for lead? Oh, we got eight, are these no problem? Let's take half a stack. Yep. Put that up there and let's have a look. Iron. So I think that's the recipe, isn't it? So let's see if this actually works. Have I got this recipe right? It's the next question. Oh, 8 plus 32, this seems to be fine. But it needs EU. Okay, maybe this doesn't work then. Output. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to have to do something else with EU. Now there is a recipe in here and I think it still exists. And it's in the Rootery Born pack. And it's a very cheap recipe. It was supposed to be disabled. But I, so in that case, I reckon we have to make a generator of some description. But the Rootery Born one, um, I've done buffers, haven't I? This was uh, to be looking at some industrial centrifuges. We've done the assembling machine now. I'm going to take all of this off because it's basically sense that of things I need to make. So let's have a look at Reborn. And it has this device here, an RF2 EU converter. And it's very cheap. I'll make one of those. Um, let's also make a, have a look at making gold insulated coil or something like that. Maybe this will work. Let's just try it. So all I have to do with this one, I guess, is to put this beside here, like, like in 2000. It's got a light on the top of it. How can that be saying in 2000? Hmm. Well, it's certainly not progressing in any shape or form. So let's just remove these two. Let's remove one of them and put this down here like that. Still not working, huh? so that doesn't look like that's a solution. Okay, let me remove this connection at the top anyway. Break those two. 
Well, doesn't seem to be working that way. Let's just see if I can move this out of the way. And put it here. I just don't know whether I have to do something special with this. Let's just take a cable from this, try this one. Ah, it doesn't want to connect. Okay, that's not connecting. What the other one we got? The insulated copper cable. Did I put that back? I did. Let's go and get the insulated copper cable. I'm not sure whether copper will work. So let's have a look at that. That's an um, industrial craft. So you might need a high voltage device. So you've got copper cables and you've got gold cables. Actually that's 128, that's just more, and that's a steel cable. So we would need three of those for one HV cable. Which we can do because we've got steel. Have we got any steel ingots in here? Oh we have. So that'll give me three. Let's make one of these. I think it'll give me three. Let's try extruding that. We could try the copper cable as well, of course, but it's going to be take a long time. I've got a feeling that these are going to need a lot of power. So here's our metal former. We've got the right one extruding. Let's put that in. I won't go in. <laughs> Probably the wrong type of steel. So let's go and convert it. Oops. That's foundry. Industrial craft, I would say, is the one we want, or tech reborn. Let's take industrial craft. Let's see if this goes through the machine. Doesn't like that one either. I can't put that into there. All right, let's have a look. Let's do it the other way around. So that was heavy for HV. So that's using iron ingots. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's easier, isn't it? Just, uh, do you know, I didn't expect that to do that. Never mind. Let me put this bucket of steel in here, by the way, as well. Because that one's actually quite cheap. We've got four. Okay, they've been sucked into the into the system, so we should be able to get those cables from in here. Oh, it's called HV, isn't it? So we just need one of those in there like that. We should be able to get a HV insulated cable. Let's see if this connects up. Oh, well, it would do if I could put it in the right place, wouldn't it? No. So, that's an interesting problem. I don't know what to do with this. I'm going to have to look at it. Maybe I need to go to the back behind here to connect it from one side. But it's certainly not connecting from that side. Let's remove it again. Try putting it here. No, it definitely doesn't want to connect. So, between episodes, it looks like I've got some more research to do to figure out what I have to do with this thing. In fact, having said that, I've got this this wrench in here, haven't I? Well, let's look at the uses of this wrench. We can make an uh, upgrades, but this one's actually quite useful. So let's make this. Basically, I'm not sure what we can do with that one. Nothing. Let's try again. <laughs> because this one then doesn't break, and she's a lot more convenient. So we just basically need some iron casings. That's no big deal. And this one is just copper wires. We can probably do this actually. Oh no, I no iron ingots must have. make two of those no problem have we got any iron plates yes we have 
but they're just ordinary ones. I think take two of those and roll those out. And then we need a battery as well, don't we? Set that to rolling, put those through. We should get, I'm not sure if it does one or two, or does two per, so that's fine. We've got four now. And I think we have to do the same thing for tin for the battery. So where are we now? We're trying to do a motor, aren't we? Tin casings, exactly. Oh, we do have tin casings. What am I missing from that recipe then? Just to, this is strange. I don't understand why the iron's not working. So now we have a motor, and it's basically this, what we're trying to produce. So we need to make a battery, which is tin casings and one tin insulated. That's no big deal either. I think we, could, yep. So let's make, let's get some tin wire. What have we got for tin in here? It's funny, it doesn't press T when you move it. Don't ask me what that is. Oh, we've got tin wire, so that's no big deal. Let's take uh, one of those. And we've got tin casings already, good. So we just need some rubber. Let's get some rubber out of here. It'll be one, I guess. So all I need to do is to melt some rubber. There, some Yes, I need to melt some rubber. Let's put that rubber in there. That'll then go into the system. So we need to bring that into here. So we need to put that there, put that there. Oh, fantastic. That was unexpected. Hold on a second. What did it actually import? Let me just double check that. Oh, this is rubber. Yes, of course. Must be a tin then. Actually, what we're trying to do is make this one, this one. So this one should, ha, huh. redstone. So where did that cable go to? Probably called MV actually. No oh, cable. Ah, oh, this of course. I keep forgetting that it goes into this chest here, not outside, which was forgetful. That produced a battery, yes, good. So now we should have, I think, everything that we need to make this. Oh, a circuit, huh. Not craftable. Ah, but well, that means my recipes aren't loaded up. Let's have a look. No, nope, it does. They are loaded. What's happened to my recipe for my circuit? I thought I had a recipe for a circuit in here. I do. That's very strange. Let's try that again. Well, it doesn't look like that is <laughs> working properly. Why not? Oh, stored items, duh. Okay, next. I didn't realize I'd got that view because normally the view's like this. So that was uh, another mistake from my point of view and I'm not sure whether I can use this whether it has to be uh, a brand new wrench it probably has to be a brand new wrench we'll find out in a second when it's actually crafted these circuits oh I probably have to go over here and activate that as well don't I because once you've actually started the game again it, it loses the stuff that you've already got yeah exactly right well that's actually doing this isn't it I think it's going to take a few seconds to do a circuit. Yep, it's going to take a few seconds. 
Let's have a double check downstairs and see how we're getting on with the the cobblestone, I think. This cobblestone should be doing very nicely. Yeah, that looks better. That looks like that's finished. So let's remove these. I had 14,000 in there, 14,081. And I also put on here, just for this reason actually, I made a terminal. It's the standard terminal. So let's look for cobble. 14,877, which is the same as this. Yes, that's working just fine. So that means this is working nicely. Oxygen's actually not coming in fast enough. Let's make sure that we get the oxygen up a little more, the couple. Aha, uh -huh. it's not that fault. It's the back side that needs some oxygen in here. Let's see if we can get onto that one. Let's put one speed upgrade in there and see if we can reach the oxygen one. There. Yeah. Nope. Try now. Yep. I want speed upgrade in there and that should deal with that. Yep. Yeah, it's starting to, it's starting to fill up nicely and that's full already. Great. And that's keeping up speed now nicely as well. Good. Right. So that means the cobblestone here should be increasing at a reasonably fast rate. It is. Super. Oops. So now we should have our cable as well. Ah, circuit, I mean. So we now have this. So it's this plus this, I think. Oh yeah, probably need a new one of these. Let's just get a new one of these. Because we've got plenty of bronze. Okay, clear that off. Yep, now we get an electrical wrench. And all we need to do is put the wrench into an AE2. I don't think it'll charge up in here. It won't even go in there. So we need to make a bat box or something to charge that up. Okay, good. So, what I want to do next time is I want to carry on with the quest. I haven't claimed that quest reward. Let's do that before I forget, because we've done IKEA in a box. I think that's this one here. Uh, yep, I need it with me, don't I? So let's just go and collect it. Oh, I do have it with me. Try again. Detect, submit. So when we get five cryo stabilized flux ducts done so now i can put those five crit here so we've got 15 of these now which i don't know whether it's enough or whatever let's put those away we don't need those and we can also put the speed upgrades away and what else can we put away i think that's everything actually and i've got some pipes there we can put those away too and in here i could put the iron ingots and whatever else and in here I can put away the speed upgrades like that so so on that note I've got to figure out oops go back a bit huh? I've got to f I'm just throwing away my network tool that's back so on that note I'm going to say bye for now and I hope to see you next time where we shall be doing, trying to get on with the next set of quests. So until then, bye for now.